guys. Today is the first official night of winter vacation as 99% of people are here and they are ready to ride. This one always gets nutty. Whole parking lot under this big ass bridge here in downtown Jacksonville is filled with bikes and vans. We're gonna be making a full loop of the city tonight. I'm not really sure what we're gonna talk about in today's vlog. I'm gonna turn this thing off, let it save some battery, and I'll get recording once we get out there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All types of beautiful grounds out here. All right, guys, here we go. Hood Ride Jacksonville 2022, the first ride of 2022. Happy New Year's, people. Happy freaking New Year's. Crazy ass guys out here, I promise you that. Mr. Sloppy Stunts. Oh man, tonight's gonna be interesting. Hey! Oh, nice backpack! What the fuck? <laughs> He's got trouble written all over it. Nothing cooler than going out of town and seeing your merchandise that you packaged yourself, I don't know, months ago. Pretty cool. Luke and I have been riding all day. We went and did a hood eats earlier today. Put in some hours today, buddy. <laughs> Or Mike J in the house. It don't matter if your state's got a helmet law or not, my guy ain't wearing one. I promise you that. The guy in the parking down Main Street, baby! Woo! Oh my god, he's already glowing! Badass FZ, bro. Talk about a variety of bikes out here, too. Harleys, brand new Groms, old Groms, dirt bikes, sport bikes, supermotos, ATVs, you name it, it's out here, baby. I got on the full dressed up Harley here. with these bunch of animals. The spikes on that guy's helmet. Oh my god. Oh my good god.
inside the Pizza Hut. He's on MySpace Live. Like that. Just because if you're in the left lane, there's no one in front of you, you're not popping up a wheelie, you should get over to the right and give it to the guy who's going to do stunts. The left lane's always been notorious for stunts. You see all the wheelies in the left lane, so everyone's shown in the right. Just kind of a common courtesy type of thing. Just in case anyone was wondering why I told the dude to move over. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why is he at 450? Love that color scheme, man. The white and the baby blue. Always enjoyed that on skinnies too. That ain't a supermoto right there. He's on some skinnies and he's gonna make the turn. Oh no, he ain't. Long wheelie right off the back and get your old boy tired. I'll tell you that much. I like this. A lot of dirt bikes. Dirt bikes are just, they're becoming more and more commonplace. 2022, I think we're gonna see a whole lot more dirt bikes than we are street bikes. Especially young guys getting on them. Chicago Southside boy in the building on a badass YZ450F. What the heck? My guy d all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. Been a day one homie right there. 
Always got beautiful builds. If there's one thing that rivals the amount of dirt bikes out here, it's these FZs. Every time I come to Florida, there is so many damn FZs in the pack. It's not even funny. And they're just growing nationwide. <laughs> for rolling love to see it i can always like literally hear the difference between an ultra 04 and i think almost every other bike i think it's just because i've been riding them so long that i just i hear it and i'm like that's it that's my girl look at this guy oh you're living life huh this is life Look at all these young bucks, man. All these 18, 19 year old dudes from Chicago. God, I love what community has grown into, especially from our city. Good, good dudes. It looks clean. It's fucking nice out. to go pee and we're about to leave always go find a nice little dark corner leak the lizard the madness i haven't seen too many of those around anymore man them triumph 675s i always really enjoyed those bikes i think they got a really cool power band on them but for stunt riding uh i know they blow motors quite frequently Fish. Good stretch groms. I mean, groms are so comfortable in the first place. Hello. Look at that. Another stretch grom. I, it's just a style. I got it. I know. I know. I know. Ain't nobody need to be stretching a grom. I know it's just a style. Woo! <laughs> We're so deep, man. It's so sick. Woo! Beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. Grom high chairs. That's how you know it's real. Makes you want to put a hand grape on it. A hand grape. A handbrake on your ground. Vanessa Garrison, man, this is actually Joey Garrison's sister, a St. Louis legend, and this is his uh, sister. I don't know if big sister or little sister, but she's a killer too. Small world, it must run in their family too, just like me and my brother. Look at that R7, man, are you kidding me? Looks like a roll off the damn showroom floor, and it's got a cage and handbrake on it. F4I, baby. Nice, clean, stock F4I. Nice, clean, OEM paint job F4I, might I add. I like that. We are officially at EDC, people. Holy crap. I feel like I'm playing Tokyo Drift. 2002. My PS1. The low life on his R7 over here, man. God damn, swerving it everywhere like a freaking dirt bike. It is a dirt bike with street bike bearings on it, people. Remember I did a test ride on this thing a couple months ago. Ah! 
was a close one, man. That dirt bike swerved right into my lane. Seven hit man, they really do. Look at that. That's a 450 with fairings, baby. And it's got a wheelie button. All 304 with the chrome rims and the old school cage, man. That's how you know that's an OG. Oh, he's got a Starboy sticker? I already know I'm gonna get fried in the comments for not knowing who this is. I'm sorry, I'm sorry in advance. But you can tell he's old school. Why does it want to pull so hard to the left? Oh my god. You ever look off a bridge and just think about what if? Yeah, I am right now. I'm getting old. Jacksonville is freaking beautiful. <laughs> God damn it, I wish I had my big boat! Rodney Sergeant, man, living legend here in the bike community. on the bike 52 years old still out here doing the damn thing how do you not love it i'm telling you what man i'm feeling tired but being around 40 and 50 year olds it's uh making me wake up a little bit i'm not even 30. Nate from Orlando, the host of this amazing weekend for the past, I don't know, five years, six years? I haven't missed one. I don't think any of us up here employees will ever miss one of these, to be honest. An excuse to get away and ride our bikes? I like how those new guns have gear indicators. I can see he's in third gear. He's at the top of third. A little bit of no-handed action. At least my 0304 absolutely loves his weather. It's like 170. I think that's the highest we've seen it. Uh, it was in the twos earlier on in the route from Rachel Roll Burnout. But it's like tired. Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here before my battery dies. You already know the dealio. If you're new here, 
you guys know what to do. Hit the like button. If you want to leave something, I guess leave a comment down below. Favorite motor vlogger, Brian Tintree 6. Signing out from the beautiful sunshine state of Florida. Hope y'all are enjoying the vlogs as always. Peace.